Hey, hello everyone. Before starting this video, there's a small request. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. In this video, I will be drawing the diagram of human respiratory system. So follow me along the video to draw this diagram easily.
Let's take a breath and explore the human respiratory system. Imagine a network of tubes and sacs designed to bring life-giving oxygen into your body and whisk away carbon dioxide, a waste product. It's a continuous exchange that's essential for our survival. The journey of air. Nose and mouth. Air typically enters through your nostrils, where tiny hairs and a sticky mucus lining trap dust and other particles. The air is also warmed and moistened here. You can also breathe through your mouth, especially during strenuous activity or when your nasal passages are blocked. Pharynx, throat. From the nose and mouth, air passes into the pharynx, a common passageway for both air and food. Larynx, voice box. Next, air travels through the larynx, which contains your vocal cords. As air passes over these cords, they vibrate to produce sound. A flap of tissue called the epiglottis sits above the larynx and prevents food from going down the wrong way into your airway when you swallow. Trachea, windpipe. The trachea is a sturdy tube reinforced by rings of cartilage to keep it open. It's lined with cilia, tiny hair-like structures that sweep mucus and trapped particles upward and out of the respiratory system. Bronchi. The trachea then branches into two main tubes called bronchi, one for each lung. These bronchi further subdivide into smaller and smaller tubes within the lungs, like the branches of a tree. These smaller tubes are called bronchioles. Bronchioles. The tiniest bronchioles eventually lead to tiny air sacs called alveoli. Alveoli. These are the workhorses of the respiratory system. The alveoli are surrounded by a dense network of tiny blood vessels called capillaries. It's here that the crucial gas exchange takes place. Oxygen from the inhaled air diffuses across the thin walls of the alveoli into the blood in the capillaries. At the same time, carbon dioxide from the blood diffuses into the alveoli to be exhaled. The role of the lungs. Your lungs are spongy, elastic organs that fill most of your chest cavity. The right lung has three lobes, while the left lung has two, to make space for the heart. The elasticity of the lungs helps with breathing. In summary, the respiratory system is an intricate and vital system responsible for bringing oxygen into our bodies and removing carbon dioxide. It involves a pathway of tubes that conduct air to the alveoli in the lungs, where gas exchange occurs all powered by the coordinated action of muscles like the diaphragm and rib muscles. Did you have any specific aspects of the respiratory system you were curious about? Perhaps how it interacts with the circulatory system or some common respiratory conditions? I'd be happy to delve deeper.